Well, welcome back to Morning Break. Now, there's nothing like good barbecue, a little music, and cold beer. And you can enjoy all that and more at this year's Blues, Brews, Barbecue, and Bourbon Festival, which is put on by the Coastal Conservation Association of Georgia. Uh, Smith Matthews is this year's chair for the festival. He's here this morning with Robert Hale, who is the current president of the board of directors of the Coastal Conservation Association. Uh, guys, good morning. This is a... a Strictly southern event, isn't it, man? Everything that we just mentioned, that's, All the good that's Saturday in the South <laughs> right that's there. That's Saturday in the South. We'll even have exactly. big screen TVs for football. Watching yeah. some football, too. So yeah. uh, a, a great event uh, raises money for a great cause as well. It does. It does. Uh, we're, we're excited about it because it's, it's been, how many years has it been since we've had a craft brew festival? It's been yeah. almost, yeah, probably four years at least. You know, so yeah. we used to have a big craft beer festival every year. And... Uh, this is, you know, to me, taking the place of it, and we also are now offering bourbon and delicious barbecue. Mm -hmm. so. And you're utilizing what is becoming a real popular part of the city. You're going to be at the Eastern Wharf. Yep, that's correct. Yeah, it's right down there in front of, uh, of uh, River Street and the Savannah River, so it's a really nice area. You have a view of the waterfront and a new development, Eastern Wharf. So. Right. And very important for downtown Savannah, ample parking. And great parking, <laughs> yeah. and the Thompson Hotel is a great sponsor yeah. of ours. And we even have uh, waterfront parking, so you can come by boat to the oh, festival. Oh, really? That's excellent. 11 yeah. to 3. I know everybody's a little worried about the weather being a little too cool, but, you know, we're 11 to 3 right in the warmer part of the day, so you, you can come by boat and enjoy the festival. Neat. Well, uh, the name pretty much explains all that's going to be going on there, but, but yep. give folks an idea of what they can experience when they come down. So we're going to pretty much have unlimited drink tastings for uh, various whiskeys, uh, multiple craft beer. It's all craft beer. Um, so we're going to have whiskeys, some vodka, some wine, some things like that. But we're also going to have um, three Texas-style barbecue, uh, barbecue vendors. Now, this, they're actually going to have all of their smokers out there and cooking on site. And it's some of the most amazing barbecue you can get in the South. Excellent. And, yeah. and a lot of the craft beers will be local? Yes. Uh, so we did prioritize local craft beer and regional craft beer. So everything will be um, either made in Georgia or the surrounding states. You know, Robert, yeah. uh, just tell me a little bit about the uh, Coastal Conservation Association. Coastal Conservation Association is really a grassroots organization that is uh, geared towards the recreational angler. Our goals are to promote uh, fishing in a uh, resourceful manner that allows fishing today and tomorrow. Um, the future is really what we're all about. We're, we really want to focus on having a sustainable fishery so that recreational anglers um, and their grandkids and their grandkids can enjoy fishing. And that's what's so important to us is uh, we do enjoy fishing yeah. very much. Um, but it's a resource that we have to manage and you know we feel like the recreational angler deserves a voice in the fight and that's what CCA is and all about. All right. of the proceeds from this event are, are going to help you do that. They that's will correct. stay with the Coastal Conservation Association of Georgia, that's correct. A hundred percent. Fantastic. So the event is Saturday and yep. uh, you have a different, two different uh, levels of, of tickets available. Correct. Mm -hmm. We've got a, uh, a VIP package which uh, gives you uh, your own area with a royal restroom mm -hmm. and a private bar and you can get in an hour earlier so for that extra twenty five dollars i think it's right. probably worth it <laughs> definitely uh, um, and then our general admission ticket is seventy five dollars and uh, that's from twelve to three and so obviously the uh, vip package is eleven to three so take advantage of the the whole opportunity uh, from eleven to three with the VIP package, get your own area, like I said. It is free to, it is actually free to enter also if you're not planning to drink. So if you just okay. want to come by and get some barbecue, then yeah, you can come for free and yeah. bring. And I time. guess we left out the best part was yeah. some really great music. That's right, yeah. yeah. So who's yeah. gonna be playing? Yeah, so we have, um, see Kyle Yardley, there, uh, there's three local blues bands, oh, Kyle cool. uh, Yardley, uh, Bottles and Cans, and the John Lee Band. Fantastic. You know, so it's going to be right. great music. And then real quick, where can folks get those tickets in advance? On our website, barbecue, or blues, brews, barbecue, and bourbon .com. Guys, thanks yeah. so much. Again, the, the title tells you what you're going to get there. So come That's on it. downtown That's right. and enjoy a little bit of everything on Saturday right there at the Eastern Wharf and help the Coastal Conservation Association as well. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you for thank having you us. Thank you for having See us. You yeah. uh, coming up, 2022 Sunbelt Ag.